five and a half runs and over himself. It will take none for well, one for 64 for 11.4. And you're right, you said it earlier, Scotty, so much of it down to the innings of Safraz. He's been aggressive, it's been calculated aggression, but he's really put New Zealand back under pressure, and that has rubbed off on Shaquille as well. Gotcha. That has gone over the top and wide of slip and down to the boundary for four more. So a big over, 13 from it, 317 for four. Every generation is blessed with a few greats. Some leave their mark, while some mark their arrival. Achieving greatness is a journey, and it begins here. Australian Open starts Monday, 16th January. Hundred and thirty five runs between them. Equal contributors in that and that has also meant that Shaquille now crawls ninety four. Sarfraz has looked quite confident since the time he came in. Has been an excellent feature of his knock. The quick running between the wickets has definitely put the momentum on the up for Pakistan. Wonderful partnership between these two. Big chat between Bracewell and Southie for this over. I think that was more about just slowing things down. Definitely feels as though the momentum swung Pakistan's way. Good from Bracewell. That's the area as the skipper will want him to continue to bowl. Still about 26, 27 minutes away from uh, T. And Pakistan made, uh, what, 94 runs. So they have made the move. Both these uh, batsmen from Karachi are enjoying themselves. The pitch is uh, at its best. No real threat. No, not a single chance even been uh, given. If they carry on like this, th at the end of the day, they'll be sitting, thinking that we can uh, push on and win this game. Oh, yeah. It's all about taking lead. And I think if they can manage to take any lead, New Zealand will be under pressure. Very close uh, to Tom Latham off the edge, away from his right hand, overdone three one eight for four. In the wrong way. Very difficult to come back. Mm. 
normally a silly point. When a batsman play on the front foot, your initial movement is to go toward your left. If he's a left-hander batsman, as you can see there, and straight away his first movement, or f he picked up his left foot first, looking to go to the left, and the ball sort of also dying to him. Wouldn't have been easy catch even if he was going to the right, because it went very quickly and he was very close to the bat. A very rare mistake. South Shaquille wouldn't want to miss another hundred. He missed out against England back in Multan. Got it beautifully. He's on 94. And that was the number when he lost uh, his wicket. Which I thought uh, was a little dodgy decision. It was a went up to the third umpire and uh, Joe Wilson called it that the ball did carry it was down the leg side and in my opinion I thought the ball was touching the ground anyway that's gone now It's hard to let it go, isn't it? Especially when somebody who's just new at this level, uh, sitting on 94 and could have won the game for his country. It's hard to sort of forget. You hit the nail on the head with that win on the line. Eventually, Park... Going to force him to hit through the field, which I think from New Zealand's point of view is certainly the right move. Big moment for this young man. Looks for the quick single. And he gets in. And it's been an innings of patience and resilience. And it's an innings that gets him to his maiden test hundred. A gallery is on their feet. And it's been a well-crafted knock. Well played, South Shaquille. Yeah, hundred uh, at his home ground. Only playing his fifth game. Averaging 74.71. He is one for the future. Scored 15 centuries before he got the opportunity to play for Pakistan. And he's making the most of it. And he's taking Pakistan out of trouble. Great technique, very solid defense. Asal Faraz now dances down the track. Best way to go straight back past the bowler. I think now he's thinking that uh, if South can do it, I can do it. Beautiful shot. What a comeback for this gentleman. Sarfraz, long wait, four years on the bench, given the opportunity, playing his second test match after his return. Got 86 in the first inning, 50 in the second, and now. Sitting on 77, I'm sure he's eyeing on uh, his hunter too. Some more brilliant running between these two brings up the 150 run partnership. Wonderful understanding. And what a relief it will be for that young man. Come on, beastie boy. And a lot of talk oh, because he's got up 50 oh. in his. All of his first five test matches. And there he's converted one into three figures. Wonderful feeling. Safra is just coming down and just giving him a little punch of the gloves, just telling him to regather himself. It's around about now that New Zealand are oh so thankful for that 100 run partnership for the last wicket. Going to end up being reasonably crucial in this test match. Red guy, red guy. Oh. Straight up, straight up, asking yeah. for it. Straight up goes up the finger. Straight up with the breakthrough, Daryl Mitchell. He has reviewed it. So